Water. Almost 71% of our planet is covered with it. The oceans hold over 95% of all Earth's water. It is running in rivers and lakes. It is in the air and in the ground, in ice caps and glaciers. We are often captivated by its hypnotizing beauty. It can be magical and calming, but also a powerful and devastating destructive force of nature. We do not think much about it when we drink a glass of water or tea or our cup of morning joe or even orange juice, which consists of 90% water. When we take a shower or wash our dishes or our clothes, we just turn the knob and the handle and voila. Most of us consume it without a second thought or appreciation. In the civilized world, it is simply a given. We are so used to it. It's everywhere and we take it for granted unless we suddenly do not have it. Around 1.1 billion people lack access to safe drinking water around the world and a total of 2.7 billion find water difficult to access for at least one month of the year. It is never still like life itself. Life cannot exist without it. And life exists everywhere there is water. All living things, from tiny microbes to giant blue whales, need water to survive. All organisms, like animals and plants, use it. Salty or fresh, hot or cold, plenty of water or almost no water at all, but still need some. Scientists believe that life itself actually came out of water. Each and every cell in our body is up to 70% molecules of water. According to science, the brain and heart are composed of 73% water, and the lungs are about 83%. Even the bones contain 31% of it. A loss of 4% of total body water leads to dehydration and losing 15% of it can be fatal. On average, we can survive three days without water, but with water only and no food, survival time may extend up to two to three months. Water helps keep your body in normal temperature moistened tissues in the eyes, nose, and mouth, and protect our body's vital organs and tissues. We get rid of water and wastes. It carries nutrients and oxygen to cells, hydrates our skin, lubricates and cushions our joints, protects our spinal cord and other sensitive tissues. But enough fascinating facts. What if I tell you that not just consuming water but being in the water can dramatically improve your health in many ways, and not just physical, but emotional and mental too. And it is a lot of fun to be in water as well. Well, spoiler alert, this is what our show today is about. So let's switch our mood to joyful, fun, and health conscious, and try to answer but just one question. Linda Renard, your host today. And many of us have found that the effects of the pandemic on our health are staggering. Overall, people have become more sedentary, they're more anxious, stressed, and even depressed as our daily lives and our rituals disintegrated. Everything changed so rapidly. We were all alone, we were isolated and afraid. But now, since two years have passed, a lot more things have come up we're all looking for new ways to engage and improve our health. Is there a panacea out there? Are we looking for one? What is it and how do we find it? If I told you there's a way to lower your blood pressure, improve your overall wellness and connect with other people all while getting vitamin D and having fun, would you try it? Today's your lucky day as we're delving into just that. And we ask, can I get myself in shape without going to a gym, 
risking injury to my muscles or joints, or find myself alone in my home in front of a TV doing exercise? Do you want to improve your cardiovascular fitness, your physical, emotional, and mental health? We know we all can, and today we're going to tell you how. All of this and more in today's episode of Cupertino TV Production. We ask you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, Why Water Fitness, and why we think you should try it. Today is my guest. I have Lisa Shu here. She's a water fitness instructor in Sunnyvale for over 20 years. Before teaching water fitness, Lisa, I'm told you were a corporate banker and you left that career when your kids were young to stay at home with them. She's also a runner. She's run seven marathons, 30 half marathons, and triathlons. She's been to all seven continents and her husband, who's a great vacation planner, plans all her trips. And she picked up gardening and other activities during the pandemic. And now she finds out she really loves to grow things. Her newest hobbies are pickleball and CrossFit. Thank you, Lisa, for joining us. Thank you for having me. And we have Mike Kern here. He's a water fitness enthusiast. He and his wife, Leela, um, have been married for 36 years and together they've been going to water fitness classes for over 14 years. He's retired from PG&E where he worked for almost 25 years as a corrosion mechanic protecting our underground pipelines. He's an avid reader and he also loves to travel and he has four great grandchildren. Thank you <laughs> for being here today and we want to hear all about your wellness journey. Thank you for having me. So Lisa, tell me where you teach. I teach at the Sunnyvale Swim Complex in Sunnyvale. Um, it's run by the city of Sunnyvale. It's an Olympic-sized pool, and I teach in the deep, the deep end of the pool. And what are your classes? My classes are Monday and Wednesday mornings at 9 a.m. We also have shallow end classes, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we have aqua yoga at another pool in the evenings as, as well as water walking. Who should come to your class? Well, anyone can come to the class that's 16 and over. It's an adult class. And who should come to the class? Everyone should come to the class. Yeah? Yes. And what's the majority of the population that's there? Um, my current class, I had anywhere from middle age to seniors coming to class. Moms that drop their kids off at school, then they, they come to class. And those that are retired, I want to get some fitness in, and those that love the water. And is the class an hour long? It's 50 minutes. Okay, from yes. beginning to end. Yes, including and stretching and warm up. Is it rain or shine, or is it only in the summer, or when is it offered? It's all year round, unless there's lightning and thunder, because we don't want to be in a pool of water when there's lightning. Mike, do you go all year round? All year, yes. And if it's pouring rain outside, pouring but rain, as you're, it comes. you're you're wet. You're wet already. <laughs> That's right. You know, it does, it, that doesn't that doesn't help some of the women that like to uh, don't like to get their hair wet. But uh, yeah, yeah. But we we go year round. My wife and I. Oh, that's so great. And how long um, have you been at the Sunnyvale Pool? I've been teaching at the Sunnyvale Pool about twenty years. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How did you get started? Um, I got started after I decided to stay home with the kids. While they were at school, I would go to the pool and get my workout done, swimming. And I, I looked on the board and there was like a lifeguard certification class. And I thought, oh, I'm going to see if I can pass that just for fun. Uh -huh. So I took the class and the manager at the time said, hey, do you want to like guard here? I'm like, well, I just, I just wanted to take it for fun to see if I could pass. And, um, she hired me to guard, and as, as I was guarding within the first two months, the water fitness instructor had left, and she left a, a workout for them to do, and I noticed that they would just stand there and talk, because there's no instructor coaching them. You know, they get sidetracked. Like the workout was just on the board, and was, people in the pool were following it? It was a, yeah, it was a piece of paper that she had given them. And so I picked up the paper, and I said, you should do these things, and then they started to do them. Then I got interested in it, and I certified as an instructor, and then we started a class. And you started it? Um, it has, yeah, I started it 
after it kind of fizzled out. Yeah. That's fantastic. And were you one of the first members there? Um, not 20 years ago, no. I was. I, I didn't start until after I retired, and I retired in 2009. And what made you go to water fitness? Well, it was for health reasons. Uh, I had put on an awful lot of weight, and uh, I was looking for something that was low impact, and I had uh, learned to swim at a very early age, so um, uh, I loved the water. And my grandfather built sailboats, so I spent a lot of time on the water. Uh -huh. So um, it just seemed like a good fit. And uh, How did you find the class? I was uh, reading the newspaper, and there was a flyer inside that, um, that uh, advertised adult uh, education classes for Sunnyvale. And I read through it, just seeing what, what it offered. And... And it, I came to the, the swimming pool. I didn't even know that uh, that the Fremont pool, the high school pool, was a dual purpose. So I just, um, I, I read down further. I wasn't a lap swimmer. I, and in my fitness shape, I was not going to be able to swim laps for very long. So they, they had a swim fitness class in the bottom. I said, hey, that looks like that could be fun. And so uh, here we are. Tell me more about the benefits of aqua yoga. Um, are there really specific things like we want our blood pressure lower, we want our emotional fitness, we want all of those things? And for, for aqua yoga, it's more of a relaxation type of class. For the water fitness class at the deep end, um, there are a lot of physical benefits. You know, the water supports your body, so there's less stress on your joints and muscles because you're, you're floating in the water. Um, it builds strength because you use the resistance of the water. As you're pushing through the water, there's resistance. Not quite as heavy as a weight like in the gym, uh -huh. but we, we have some gear that you know that you can use and it, you push it under the water and there's your resistance. Um, also, there's water pressure look, puts less strain on your heart, which causes blood, a lot of blood circulation, which is good. So you don't have to like physically exert yourself to get the, the blood flowing. And you're getting a good workout. And well, you're getting a good workout. And the gravity of the water helps you have a larger range of motion. So, you you know, those that can't move their arms all the way, the water kind of helps you, like, relax, and you have a greater range of motion of your joints. And it prevents overheating, so you can exercise longer and stay in the water. And it's fun. And it's fun. And it's fun. I understand you have some props here. Show me, oh. like, someone who doesn't know how to swim. Can they come to water fitness? Absolutely. Um, there's... But there's a water belt that they can use, and you wrap this around your waist. This goes on the back, and so it keeps you buoyant. You don't have to tread water in the deep end, and obviously in the shallow end, you don't need to wear it because you can stand up in it. So you're just wearing this behind you strapped, and you're just floating. So you can use your arms and your legs, and you don't have to worry about being on top of the water. So this, and, Okay, yeah. and then um, for more resistance, you have... Oh, we also have some dumbbells that you can use they're very buoyant so they float on top of the water so you have to actually physically push them down to the water like if you wanted to do push-ups you'd be laying on your stomach holding these pushing them up and down bending your arms back and forth and that's your resistance which a lot and of that, people like doing that and that and there's like all kinds of exercises to do with those yes and then there's different like buoyancies being at, too. like being at the gym doing biceps and triceps very and similar except it's almost a little reverse because it's it wants to pop up. You don't have to raise it up, and your your resistance is pushing it down. Ah, so it's a little bit. We also have aqua noodles that you can stand on, and oh, do squats, balance. and you're like floating for balance. A lot of core. It's a lot of core. You could also stand on it with one foot and paddle yourself forward and travel, and you could hold it and shoot it back and forth for a nice stretch. We call those shoot throughs. Uh -huh. And for the dumbbells, you can do. Um, I call them thigh masters. You put them underneath your knee and they float and you can go in and out. Or There's a lot of different variations we can do with it. So that's a, that's a, What's your favorite one to teach? Um, I love to, for the newbies, <laughs> Michael can test to this, I like to watch them do squats because it looks very easy. Squats on the noodle? Yeah, you're standing so on the noodle and you just bring your knees up and down. And you have to balance it right under you or it'll go flying up. So we get it. We get a little chuckle out of the news. We say it, it, you'll get used to it, and it's difficult. And then there's different levels where you don't use your hands to scroll and balance on the water. 
So that's one of my favorites to watch. <laughs> okay, so someone's new coming to class, and you guys are going to tease them. He's going to tease them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't tease them. I help them. <laughs> but, they're, but they're having fun trying it. But, 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 but she's giggling on the inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they, they, they like it because they thought, wow, I never thought to do this, and it's, and then, it's harder than it looks. And how long many tries does it take to get it? Uh, it depends on the person yeah, and their Sometimes and their it strength. takes a little while. So you've got this noodle. You're in the water. Are you holding it, or you're, you're stand, just you're standing, you're standing on it? On it. Yeah. So you can hold on to the wall if you need to balance on it. But um, the idea is to not hold on to anything and have it right under you and use your core to balance on it and to have movement while it's under you without it slipping off. Okay. <laughs> is that your favorite exercise, Mike? Oh, I, Tell I, me I, yours. I like them all. Yeah. yeah. What's your I, you favorite know, one? I, I, and how about Leela's? I, I like to jog and, and I like to do um, uh, jumping jacks with the with the barbells, you know, because you get a little more resistance. And, but uh, and Leela's Leela's like likes um, um, the one where you put the down and your legs Iron up. Iron cross. Iron cross. He likes Iron cross. So. You're just holding the barbells by your side and engage your core to sit your legs straight out. So it looks like you're sitting on the floor. You're actually core is engaged with your legs, yeah, yeah. legs straight out. Like the Olympic rings, you know, when you do the gymnastics. Olympic rings uh -huh. and gymnastics and stuff. So it's, there's all kinds of different yeah. variations. Yes. And do you do you listen to music when you do the class? Yes, yeah, kind of pump them up. We get the music flowing, <laughs> and they're trying to stay with the beat and move. And are you really getting a cardiovascular exercise? Absolutely. You you can you can customize your workout however you want it for your level of fitness, uh -huh. you know, and that's what's nice about the class is that somebody coming in that's new, once you learn the exercise, now you got to learn the exercises first, okay. and then you know what you can do and, and your fitness level, and and you take off, uh, you know, you can make it a, a aggressive, you know, instead of jogging, you can make it running, you know, you got we got a, an exercise called bicycle legs where you're just pedaling. You know, and you can either pedal like you're on a San Sunday afternoon ride, <laughs> yeah. or you can pedal like you're in the Tour de France. Yeah, you can yeah. make your you can make your uh, your exercises. And how do you pedal? Uh, well, I kind of like to get <laughs> I, I kind of like to get going. So uh, you know, I, I, not at first I didn't, but uh, now, now you know. Yeah. But so it's only a competition with yourself. You're not competing with anybody no. else. With Mike, it's a competition with his wife, Leela, that he shares oh. a lane with. <laughs> oh. But yes, yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah. You just do it at your level, what you're comfortable at. And if you want to take it up a gear or two, uh -huh. you can do that too. in Sunnyvale for 35 years. I love the community and the pool and the water fitness teachers and the students are an extension of this community. They're wonderful people. The water and the facility are phenomenal. The people get emotional, social, and physical growth. And so do I. I love these folks and I love coming here. And it's a fantastic exercise, especially as we age for our joints. So it's wonderful. Glad I can be here. Thank you.
So Lisa, tell me what you love about water fitness. I love the feeling of being in the water. I love coaching water fitness, watching the students get better and more fit. And it's a lot of them, a lot of them it's their happy place. It's good physical benefits, emotional benefits, and they just love being in the water. You can see their happy faces when they come. Tell me about other benefits because I alluded to the fact that there's emotional, mental well-being. What do you see as that part of it? Well, the, a lot of mental benefits, uh, I think, is it relieves stress um, and it gives you a sense of community. Like um, we have, before the pandemic, we used to have potlucks on certain occasions and everyone would bring their favorite dishes and share recipes. Uh, and they become friends. I mean, uh -huh. you know, they contact each other and, you know, you're going to go to class today so that you have accountability, which is nice. And it can de it decrease anxiety and depression being in the water. So you, because getting into water itself? Yes, yeah, it's a sense of relaxation. So we call it the blue mind theory, which um, it mildly puts you in a meditative state of mind, um, whether you're in the water, on the water, or near water. So that, that theory refers to a state of water associated peace. That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> we all want that. Yes. <laughs> um, what's your favorite thing about the class, Mike, or the community? Uh, well, we, my wife and I enjoy um, all, all the people that we've met. And like Lisa was saying, you know, we, we get together, you know, out of the pool as, as well as at the pool. And, and we, you know, we just, uh, the potlucks were really nice. We do holiday seasons. Uh, we, uh, Lisa, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa brings costumes for everybody. And you wear costumes in the uh, pool? Reluctantly, but yeah, I, okay. but I do. Reluctantly. <laughs> He's a do good you bring, sport. you bring costumes for them? I bring just little headbands with like, ears on them. What, for? For like Easter, St. Patty's Day, uh -huh. yeah, Halloween, okay, a little mask or something yeah. fun, just to make it fun. Yeah, that's <laughs> very cute. <laughs> and so these people in the class have become like family and friends, or they're well, like yeah, yeah, we 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 become you know close. We we know when each other is going on vacation, and and uh, you know. We, Sometimes they know a little too much. About yeah, each sometimes other. a little okay. too much, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been a real nice journey so far, and and uh, we hope to continue it. You know, as long as we can. I I just came back from five weeks on vacation and and no water, and uh, I can't wait it. to get back into the pool on Monday. So uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I really miss it when when we don't have it available. So yeah, your body says get yeah, get me yeah, moving. Yeah. You're moving, and you know I, I we got to Florida or we got to Florida right before the hurricane for a wedding, and and I got oh. to spend uh, my mornings in the Gulf and swimming out in the Gulf, and it was 86 degrees. Nice. Oh, it was so beautiful. Tell me a little bit about your fitness journey, Mike. I know you told me that the doctor told you that you well, had to get started. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I had just gained so much weight, and I just kind of let myself go. I'd, I hadn't played softball in a while. I was always an active guy, and my, my job was technical instead of physical, and, you know, things just blossomed, as they do with a lot of people, and and I knew I had to do something, so it, it just uh, it seemed like a, a good fit for me. You know, I mean, people do it for different reasons. We've got some pretty healthy people that attend the class because they just enjoy it. And, uh, you know, I was not one of those people. I was uh, not in the beginning. Not in the beginning. And then, and then what keeps you coming back? Well, the I, feeling you get or the... Well, I, I enjoy the water. And, uh, and, and I, you know, I... I, I do other things away from the pool, but I am, you know, I am trying to keep my weight down. I've lost a little bit, and and I a little bit uh, about 125 pounds. Oh, that's a person. Yeah. 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 Well, well, when His you transformation is amazing. When when I started oh, so. there, when I started there, that was one of the things that kind of gave me anxiety was the fact that I'm going to be 150 pounds heavier than everybody else there, and and I, and that was true. But you does know. it matter in the water? It doesn't matter. Nobody, you no. know, and, and and people were were nice, and and you know, and, and not and every welcoming. not everybody had a Christy Brinkley body, so <laughs> you know, it, it just. Uh, but I I was very overweight, and uh, and this is something I needed. 
And, and uh, it worked for you. And, and, it, and it is working no, for not me. Not just the it weight is. loss, his mobility, yeah. too, as well. Oh. He had knee surgery. I've had three knee surgeries, and I've had shoulder problems, and, uh, you know, it's, it's all contributed. You know, I got everything's, I contribute everything that's been going on to my start in water fitness, so. The good things have been going on. Yeah, good tell, me, I want, <laughs> tell, me more, tell me more of success stories because I think our viewers want to hear about this. Are there more, like uh, people's blood pressure changed? Well, people... there are there there was this one gal that um, was dealing with depression. When she'd come to class, she feels good. She said it's like her happy light. Oh. So and you know she built a sense of friendships with people and she had something to look forward to. So it was nice to hear that. She would thank me after every class. She said, I feel so good Aww. as well. So. Yeah, it's, get, it's, it's, way, it's a way now people have to find a way to get themselves mm. back into a routine. Yes. Right. And it's offered twice a week. You, all you have to Actually, do, you can come five well, days a week. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You can come to yeah. the deep end, the Your shallow end. Is twice. Yeah, my yeah. class is twice a week. But there's another instructor and at the other pool with aqua yoga and water walking. So. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. And and your advice for someone completely new to this, like how do we get them to come to the pool? How do we get them to sign up? What kind of advice do you tell them? Just Google Water Fitness? I would, I, well, how you sign up for the classes at the um, Sunnyvale Swim Complex is through the website, which is www.sunnyvale.ca.gov. There's an activities guide. Um, and then you can sign up for deep water, shallow end, aqua yoga, water walking. And that's how you get in to pick your classes. So it's a session-based class. It's four weeks at a time. All right. Or you can do a drop-in, just buy a drop-in Oh, pass. if someone just wants to try it, yeah. they can just they can just drop in and try it. And they don't have to be a Sunnyvale resident. That's correct. It could resident be or anybody resident. out there that wants to try it. Yep. Absolutely. Yes. Well, good. So thank you all so much for coming today. We really appreciate your advice and your insight into how we can get people out there working out. And um, we look forward to seeing you again. And let's meet again next time here. Or at the pool. At the yeah, pool. pool. We hope to see you at the pool. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.